Ramona and welcome to Ramona Interviews. And with me in the chair today is Andy Migner. Welcome, Andy. Thank you. It is such a pleasure to have you here because we're going to talk about some monumental things that are mm. happening right now mm. and are going to continue to happen. And for all of us that are catching the wave, which is mostly everybody, mm -hmm. one way or another, mm -hmm. this wave has come through. Um, so let me kind of summarize it up so that we can start the show and really start talking about, it's just marvelous. Um, our planet and all of humanity right now is currently undergoing a major evolutionary transformation. What does this mean to oneness? And Andy is going to explain to us all about oneness uh, mm -hmm. first. But, but what does this mean to oneness? That's a perfect way to start because the planetary, evolutionary, consciousness shift that we are experiencing is exactly what oneness is here about. It's, um, it is here to help with the awakening of humanity and that is its primary purpose and vision. Um, so many masters, so many scriptures, so many indigenous peoples have been pointing to this time um, of this year, this period of our time as being monumental um, and a, a time of evolution of our species, which is huge. It is, um, but how does oneness kind of bring, bring that forth, nurture that? or bring it forth or awaken? Mm, good question. It really is more cellular. It's more biological, neurobiological. And oneness contributes to this through uh, what is known as the oneness blessing or diksha. And diksha is actually a very old and ancient transmission of energy, uh, divine energy. But it used to be um, that it was only available to very few people when you were seeking awakening or this shift to happen in consciousness for yourself. You would seek somebody who had experienced that shift. And if you were one of the very few who was with them for years and years, and you might be bestowed with this diksha. And the diksha would help uh, bring about a neurobiological change in your brain mm -hmm. that shifts your consciousness. Um, Diksha, which the oneness blessing is, and which comes from the Oneness University in India, is what's wonderful about it is it's now available to everybody mm -hmm. and anybody. And is that because of the paradigm shift? Is that because of the shift? Yes, it's because of the time that we're in, mm -hmm. that that makes it, that it's possible. Mm -hmm. um, and the founders of the Oneness University, um, who are known as Sri Ama and Sri Bhagavan, um, they came into this world knowing that from a very early age, kind of like, uh, they're called avatars, mm -hmm. like I would think of Einstein as an avatar or um, Mozart as an avatar, people who come in with a very single-minded mission mm -hmm and knowing early on that this is what they're here to do. Um, these people came in knowing, uh, Bhagavan, when he was a young boy, by the age of seven, told his father, when his father said, what are you gonna do when you grow up? Very important in an Indian family. He said, our species is about to experience an evolutionary shift and I am here to help make that happen. Wow. At seven years old, seven. he said mm -hmm. this. Mm -hmm. um, and at three years old, he, um, he experienced this brilliant gold light that came to him and, um, and a chanting of a mantra mm -hmm. that happened continuously 24 hours a day, even when he was sleeping mm -hmm. from the age of three until he was 24, so for 21 years. He was saturated. Yes, and this, it was part of the development of this phenomena, of this diksha mm -hmm. that then was awakened later um, mm -hmm. at a school that he was the headmaster at, mm -hmm. and the children started, this golden ball started to descend into the children, and their kundalini, or the energy up the spine, started to rise, and their consciousness rose, and... Um, that was the beginning of this movement. 
Now, the people who experience this, they still live in the daily world. So we're yes. not kind of, it's, I don't want to say no more. That doesn't sound right. This is very practical. Part of this, this the, the awakening channel is, is that everybody who seeks is, comes into it because they're ready. Like it's because they're seeking, so they're ready. Yes. Type of thing. They're open to it, so therefore they're, they're so-called ready. Yes. Okay. Yes, and I, my understanding of awakening is that there are many different levels. And what we're talking about and what this phenomena is bringing is awakening levels that are very functional, mm -hmm. but um, that are really the solution to our planetary problems. Mm -hmm. um, so they bring happy for no reason, um, you know, and knowing that we are one. And once you really know that, there is no way that you can harm another because it's so clear that you are harming yourself. Mm -hmm. The oneness blessing is hands-on. And then where is it, on the head, top of the head? On the top of the head mm -hmm. for just a minute or so. Yeah. The oneness meditation is a transfer through the eyes of the oneness meditator. And um, my understanding is that it's equally powerful whether mm -hmm. it's online or in person okay. um, because we're all one and there really is no time and space, though I don't comprehend that, but I, um, I understand that to be true. Um, my own experience, personal experience, is that in person has mm -hmm. been more powerful, mm -hmm. but maybe that's because somewhere I believe that to be true, so yeah. that's my experience. Um, mm -hmm. And the first time I experienced it as a receiver, although I don't know that it's really sort of being given and received, mm -hmm. I think it may be more of an interchange and a sharing. Mm -hmm. um, but the first time that I was in the audience and there was a oneness meditator who was transmitting um, was probably the most powerful experience I have ever had of, I'd always heard, I'd come to believe that there was a unconditional, loving, mm -hmm. divine force in the world. Mm -hmm. I had never felt it like that mm -hmm. until that moment where it was as if I became almost immobilized mm -hmm. um, in awe of the love that I was becoming aware that I that I think it was just awareness mm -hmm. you know some veil was falling away and I was able to experience the love that we are swimming in mm -hmm. all the time um, that we just don't know about so it's not even about that's where sort of the transmission doesn't quite ring true for me it's more it somehow helps to unveil what we've forgotten. It yeah. helps us to remember yeah. um, who we are and what we're actually surrounded by. Right. Now this is a community service. This is a community service. Yeah, we do not get paid for this. The, the, um, the, the only thing, we ask for donations right. for the larger events and yeah. for the blessing circles to pay expenses and printing and right. for the blessing um, in venue. Is, the is blessing is, service. it is. They're real good. What's the website again? It's www.onenessma.org. And, and that's where they can find out more information about it, find out where groups are, circles are, if they're interested, um, get a blessing. Just kind of awaken themselves, learn a little something, see if this if yes. they're moved towards this. We will travel and do this for already organized groups of people. That's right. So you don't have to leave who you are or change who you are or change what you believe or exactly. change your culture. You know, you're just kind of opening up to mm -hmm. something different. At, at a community service, I think that's wonderful. That's mm. absolutely wonderful. Thank you so much, Annie. Mm, thank you, Ramona. I am Ramona, and you've been watching Ramona Interviews. Have a wonderful, peaceful week.